Stories and Documentary Network. Ancient Moroccan civilization stands as a testament to the rich tapestry of human history. Nestled in the northwest corner of Africa, Morocco has been a crossroads of cultures, civilizations, and trade routes for centuries. Its diverse landscapes, from the rugged Atlas Mountains to the expansive Sahara Desert and the fertile plains, have witnessed the ebb and flow of numerous civilizations, leaving behind a legacy that continues to shape the modern nation. Ancient Morocco's geography played a pivotal role in shaping its civilization. From the rugged Atlas Mountains stretching across the interior to the fertile plains of the Atlantic coast and the vast expanse of the Sahara Desert to the south, Morocco's diverse landscapes offered both challenges and opportunities for its inhabitants. The Atlas Mountains provided natural barriers and resources, while the coastal plains facilitated trade and cultural exchange with neighboring regions. The Sahara Desert, though formidable, served as a conduit for trans-Saharan trade routes, linking Morocco to the wider African continent. Moroccan civilization traces its roots back to prehistoric times, with evidence of human habitation dating back thousands of years. The region witnessed the rise and fall of numerous indigenous cultures, including the Berbers, whose influence remains profound to this day. The arrival of Phoenician and Carthaginian traders, followed by Roman conquest and subsequent Islamic expansion, ushered in new eras of cultural exchange and development. The medieval period saw the emergence of powerful dynasties like the Almoravids, Almohads, and Marinids, whose reigns left indelible marks on Moroccan history. The age of European colonization in the 19th and 20th centuries marked another significant chapter, shaping modern Morocco's political and social landscape. Throughout its history, Morocco has been shaped by a myriad of historical milestones and external influences. From the establishment of early Berber kingdoms to the spread of Islam and the flourishing of Moorish civilization, each era brought its own set of transformations and challenges. The Romanization of Morocco under Roman rule, the Islamic Golden Age marked by advancements in science, philosophy, and architecture, and the interactions with European powers during the colonial period all contributed to the rich tapestry of Moroccan civilization. These key historical milestones and influences continue to resonate in contemporary Moroccan society, reflecting the enduring legacy of its past. The prehistoric roots of Morocco are shrouded in mystery, yet archaeological excavations have unearthed significant evidence of ancient human habitation. From cave paintings in the Atlas Mountains to megalithic structures dotting the landscape, Morocco's prehistoric past offers tantalizing glimpses into the lives of its earliest inhabitants. Archaeological discoveries, including tools, pottery, and human remains, provide valuable insights into the lifestyles, social structures, and cultural practices of ancient Moroccan civilizations. The Neolithic period witnessed the transition of Moroccan societies from nomadic hunter-gatherers to settled agricultural communities. Along the fertile river valleys and coastal plains, Neolithic settlements began to emerge, characterized by the domestication of plants and animals, the development of pottery, and the construction of permanent dwellings. The introduction of agriculture revolutionized food production and spurred the growth of complex social hierarchies and trade networks, laying the foundation for future civilizations in the region. As Neolithic societies thrived, the transition to early urbanization marked a pivotal turning point in Moroccan history. The establishment of fortified settlements, such as the ancient city of Volubilis, signaled the emergence of urban centers characterized by monumental architecture, centralized governance, and specialized economic activities. Trade routes crisscrossed the region, linking Moroccan cities to distant civilizations and facilitating the exchange of goods, ideas, and cultural practices. The transition to early urbanization laid the groundwork for the flourishing civilizations that would define Morocco's ancient past. The Berbers, also known as Amazigh, are the indigenous peoples of Morocco whose origins trace back to ancient times. Their presence predates recorded history, and they have inhabited North Africa for millennia. Berber communities are characterized by ethnic diversity, linguistic variation, and a shared cultural heritage that spans across the Maghreb region. The origins of the Berbers are complex and multifaceted, with influences from indigenous African populations, ancient Mediterranean civilizations, and subsequent waves of migration and conquest. 
Berber society is renowned for its resilience, egalitarian values, and intricate social structures. Traditionally organized into tribes or clans, Berber communities exhibit a strong sense of kinship and solidarity, with leadership often determined through consensus-based decision-making processes. Berber traditions, including communal land tenure systems, oral literature, and customary laws, have played a central role in shaping socio-political dynamics and preserving cultural identities across generations. Moreover, Berber women have historically held significant roles within their communities, contributing to the social, economic, and spiritual fabric of Berber society. The Berber civilization has left an indelible mark on Moroccan culture, influencing language, religion, art, and architecture. The Berber language, Tamazite, serves as a linguistic cornerstone of Moroccan identity, with various dialects spoken throughout the country. Berber cultural practices, including traditional music, dance, cuisine, and craftsmanship, continue to thrive, enriching Morocco's cultural tapestry with their vibrant colors and rhythms. Moreover, Berber spirituality, manifested in ancestral beliefs, sacred rituals, and symbiotic relationships with nature, underscores the interconnectedness between humans and the natural world. The legacy of the Berbers extends beyond Morocco's borders, resonating across North Africa and beyond. As custodians of ancient traditions and guardians of cultural heritage, Berber communities embody the resilience and adaptability that have sustained them through centuries of change. Their contributions to Moroccan civilization serve as a testament to the enduring vitality of indigenous cultures in shaping the course of human history. The Phoenicians, renowned seafarers and traders of the ancient world, established colonies along the Mediterranean coast of North Africa, including present-day Morocco, as early as the 8th century BCE. Their settlements, such as Lixus and Mogador, served as strategic outposts for maritime trade and commerce, connecting the Mediterranean world with the rich resources of the African interior. Phoenician colonies in Morocco facilitated the exchange of goods, ideas, and cultural practices, fostering a dynamic cross-cultural exchange that left a lasting imprint on Moroccan civilization. The rise of Carthage, a powerful maritime empire founded by Phoenician settlers in present-day Tunisia, further extended Phoenician influence along the Moroccan coast. Carthaginian expansion into North Africa brought Morocco into the sphere of Carthaginian influence, as Carthage sought to control key trade routes and establish hegemony over the region. Carthaginian influence in Morocco was characterized by military conquests, commercial ventures, and cultural diffusion, shaping the socio-political landscape and fostering closer ties between Moroccan and Carthaginian societies. The Phoenician and Carthaginian presence in Morocco left a profound legacy that is evident in various aspects of Moroccan civilization. The introduction of new technologies, such as maritime navigation techniques and urban planning, facilitated the development of Moroccan coastal cities and trade networks. Phoenician and Carthaginian colonies served as centers of cultural exchange, where indigenous Berber, Mediterranean, and African traditions converged, giving rise to unique hybrid cultures and identities. Additionally, the legacy of Phoenician and Carthaginian colonization in Morocco is reflected in the archaeological remains, including ancient ruins, artifacts, and inscriptions, that bear witness to their enduring impact on the Moroccan landscape. The Roman conquest of Morocco, then known as Mauritania Tingitana, began in the 1st century BCE under the leadership of generals such as Suetonius Paulinus and Caligula. By the reign of Emperor Claudius, Morocco was fully integrated into the Roman Empire. Roman rule brought about significant political and administrative changes, with the establishment of provincial governance and the imposition of Roman law and taxation systems. The Roman presence in Morocco was characterized by military outposts, road networks, and fortified settlements, which helped to consolidate Roman control over the region. One of the enduring legacies of Roman rule in Morocco is the remarkable urban development and infrastructure projects undertaken by the Romans. Roman cities, such as Volubilis, Lixus, and Sala Colonia, modern-day Rabat, flourished as centers of trade, commerce, and administration. The Romans introduced architectural innovations, including aqueducts, amphitheaters, temples, and baths, which transformed Moroccan landscapes and provided essential amenities for urban life. The construction of the Roman road network facilitated communication and trade between Moroccan cities and connected Morocco to the wider Roman Empire, 
contributing to economic prosperity and cultural exchange. Romanization in Morocco was not merely a process of political domination but also a cultural exchange that led to the syncretism of Roman, Berber, and indigenous traditions. Roman architecture, art, language, and religion left an indelible mark on Moroccan culture, as evidenced by the fusion of Roman building techniques with local architectural styles and the incorporation of Latin words into the Berber language. Roman deities, customs, and festivals became intertwined with indigenous beliefs and practices, resulting in a rich tapestry of religious syncretism and cultural diversity. The Islamic arrival in Morocco marked a significant turning point in its history, ushering in a new era of cultural, political, and religious transformation. Following the Arab conquest of North Africa in the 7th century CE, Morocco became part of the expanding Islamic Caliphate, bringing the teachings of Islam to the region. The spread of Islam in Morocco was not merely a religious conversion but also a cultural and social phenomenon that reshaped the fabric of Moroccan society. The principles of Islamic governance, justice, and morality laid the foundation for a unified Moroccan state and provided a sense of identity and belonging to its diverse population. The emergence of Moorish dynasties in Morocco marked the consolidation of Islamic rule and the birth of a distinctive Moroccan civilization. The Umayyad, Almoravid, Almohad, and Marinid dynasties, among others, played pivotal roles in shaping the political landscape and cultural identity of Morocco. Under Moorish rule, Morocco experienced periods of prosperity, stability, and intellectual advancement, with cities like Fez, Marrakesh, and Cordoba becoming centers of Islamic learning, scholarship, and artistic expression. The Moorish dynasties left a lasting legacy of architectural marvels, including mosques, palaces, and madrasas, which continue to define Morocco's architectural heritage. The flourishing of Islamic art, science, and philosophy in Morocco during the Moorish period represented the zenith of cultural achievement and intellectual inquiry. Moroccan scholars and polymaths made significant contributions to fields such as astronomy, mathematics, medicine, and literature, enriching the intellectual legacy of Islamic civilization. The establishment of libraries, universities, and observatories fostered a spirit of inquiry and innovation, attracting scholars and students from across the Islamic world. Islamic art and architecture in Morocco reached new heights of sophistication and beauty, blending intricate geometric patterns, calligraphy, and decorative motifs to create awe-inspiring masterpieces that still captivate the imagination today. The rise of the Almoravid dynasty in Morocco during the 11th century marked a pivotal period in the region's history. Founded by Abdallah ibn Yassin, the Almoravids emerged from the Sahara Desert, uniting disparate Berber tribes under a common cause, the propagation of Sunni Islam and the defense of Muslim territories against Christian and Muslim adversaries alike. Under the leadership of Yusuf ibn Tashfin, the Almoravids expanded their territory, conquering cities such as Marrakesh and consolidating their rule over much of North Africa and Al-Andalus, Islamic Spain. The Almoravid dynasty's strict interpretation of Islamic law and its military prowess laid the groundwork for subsequent dynasties and shaped the religious and political landscape of Morocco. The Almohad Empire, founded by Ibn Tumart in the 12th century, emerged as a formidable successor to the Almoravids, championing a puritanical form of Islam known as Almohadism. The Almohads rejected the religious laxity of their predecessors and sought to establish a centralized Islamic state based on strict adherence to Islamic law and doctrine. Under the leadership of Abu Yaqab Yusuf and his successors, the Almohad Empire expanded its territory across North Africa and Al-Andalus, reaching its zenith under the reign of Muhammad al-Nasir. The Almohad dynasty's architectural achievements, including the construction of the Qutubiyya Mosque in Marrakesh and the Giralda in Seville, exemplify the empire's cultural and artistic legacy, which continues to influence Moroccan architecture and design to this day. The Marinid dynasty, founded by Abu Yahya ibn Abd al-Haq in the 13th century, ushered in a golden age of Moroccan civilization characterized by political stability, economic prosperity, and cultural flourishing. The Marinids established their capital in Fez, transforming the city into a center of learning, commerce, and artistic innovation. Under the patronage of Marinid sultans such as Abu Inan Faris and Abu al-Hasan, Fez became renowned for its madrasas, libraries, and mosques, attracting scholars, artisans, and merchants from across the Islamic world. 
The Marinid dynasty's cultural achievements, including the development of Marinid architecture and the promotion of Sufi mysticism, epitomized the zenith of Moroccan civilization during the medieval period. During the Age of Exploration, Portugal and Spain sought to expand their maritime empires and control trade routes to Asia and Africa. Morocco, strategically located at the crossroads of Atlantic and Mediterranean trade, became a target for Portuguese and Spanish incursions. Portuguese navigators, including Henry the Navigator, established coastal outposts along the Moroccan coast, seeking to monopolize trade and establish a foothold in North Africa. Spanish expeditions, such as those led by Alonso de Ojeda and Diego de Merlo, also ventured into Moroccan territory, competing for influence and territory. Facing European encroachment, Morocco mounted a spirited defense of its sovereignty and territorial integrity. Moroccan rulers, such as Sultan Mohammed ben Abdallah and Sultan Ahmed al-Mansur, pursued diplomatic alliances with European powers and engaged in strategic alliances with regional allies to resist foreign aggression. The Battle of the Three Kings, Battle of al quibir in 1578, where Moroccan and Portuguese forces clashed, exemplifies Morocco's determination to defend its independence against European expansionism. Additionally, Moroccan corsairs and privateers harassed European shipping and conducted raids along the Mediterranean coast, asserting Moroccan maritime power and challenging European dominance. European colonization had profound and far-reaching effects on Moroccan society, economy, and politics. The Treaty of Tordesillas divided the New World between Portugal and Spain, leaving Morocco vulnerable to Portuguese and Spanish ambitions. The establishment of Portuguese and Spanish enclaves, such as Ceuta, Melilla, and Tangier, undermined Moroccan sovereignty and disrupted traditional trade networks. Moreover, European colonization brought about socio-economic changes, including the introduction of new crops, technologies, and commercial practices, which transformed Morocco's agrarian economy and social structure. The Treaty of Fez established French and Spanish protectorates in Morocco, formalizing European control over Moroccan affairs. French and Spanish colonial policies, including land expropriation, forced labor, and cultural assimilation, engendered widespread resistance and nationalist movements, culminating in the Rif War, 1920-1926, and the struggle for Moroccan independence. Despite the challenges posed by European colonization, Moroccan society demonstrated resilience, adaptability, and a steadfast commitment to preserving its cultural heritage and national identity. In the early 20th century, Morocco fell under the influence of European colonial powers, primarily France and Spain. The Treaty of Fez established French and Spanish protectorates over different regions of Morocco, effectively dividing the country into zones of colonial control. Under the protectorate regimes, French and Spanish authorities imposed their administrative structures, economic policies, and cultural norms on Moroccan society. While French influence was predominant in the northern and central regions, Spain controlled the northernmost parts of Morocco, including the Rif and the Mediterranean coast. The imposition of foreign rule sparked widespread resistance and nationalist movements throughout Morocco. Leaders such as Sultan Mohammed V emerged as symbols of Moroccan resistance against colonial domination. The Istikul Al Party, founded in 1944, became a leading force in the struggle for Moroccan independence, advocating for self-rule and the restoration of Moroccan sovereignty. Mass protests, strikes, and acts of civil disobedience mobilized Moroccans from all walks of life in the pursuit of national liberation. The exile of Sultan Mohammed V to Madagascar by French authorities in 1953 further galvanized Moroccan nationalist sentiment and intensified calls for independence. Morocco achieved independence from France and Spain in 1956, marking a significant milestone in its modern history. Sultan Mohammed V, upon his return from exile, assumed the title of king and played a central role in guiding Morocco through the challenges of nation-building and statehood. The post-colonial era witnessed efforts to modernize Moroccan society, promote economic development, and strengthen democratic institutions. King Hassan II, who ascended to the throne in 1961, pursued policies of modernization and political stability, albeit with occasional authoritarian measures to maintain control. Morocco faced numerous challenges in the post-colonial period, including socio-economic disparities, regional inequalities, and political unrest. 
The Western Sahara conflict, stemming from Morocco's territorial claims over the former Spanish colony, remains unresolved and continues to strain relations with neighboring Algeria and the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic. Despite these challenges, Morocco has made significant strides in areas such as education, healthcare, infrastructure, and foreign relations. The country has emerged as a regional leader in diplomacy, hosting international summits and playing a key role in regional peacekeeping efforts. Moroccan architecture stands as a testament to the ingenuity and craftsmanship of ancient civilizations that once flourished in the region. From the grandeur of Islamic palaces and mosques to the intricate details of traditional Berber dwellings, Moroccan architecture reflects a rich tapestry of influences, including Arab, Berber, Moorish, and European styles. Cities like Efes, Marrakesh, and Rabat boast labyrinthine medinas, old city centers, fortified kasbas, fortresses, and ornate riads, traditional houses with interior gardens, showcasing the fusion of cultural elements and architectural techniques that define Moroccan urban landscapes. Moroccan literature, music, and folklore are vibrant expressions of the country's cultural heritage and traditions. Moroccan literature, influenced by Arabic, Berber, and Andalusian literary traditions, encompasses a rich array of genres, including poetry, prose, and historical chronicles. Renowned Moroccan authors such as Ibn Battuta, Ibn Khaldun, and Ahmed Sefraoui have made enduring contributions to world literature, exploring themes of identity, spirituality, and social justice. Moroccan music, characterized by rhythmic melodies, intricate instrumentation, and lyrical poetry, reflects the diversity of Moroccan society, blending Berber, Arab, Andalusian, and Sub-Saharan African influences. From the hypnotic rhythms of Nawa music to the soul-stirring melodies of Andalusian classical music, Moroccan musical traditions evoke a deep sense of cultural pride and collective belonging. Moroccan folklore, passed down through generations via oral tradition, encompasses a rich tapestry of myths, legends, and fables that capture the imagination and beliefs of Moroccan people. Tales of jinns, spirits, heroic warriors, and wise sages embody the values of courage, wisdom, and resilience that have shaped Moroccan society throughout history. Moroccan cuisine is renowned for its bold flavors, aromatic spices, and diverse culinary traditions that reflect Morocco's geographical and cultural diversity. From the savory tagines and couscous dishes of the Atlas Mountains to the flavorful seafood of the Atlantic coast and the aromatic pastries of the Mediterranean, Moroccan cuisine is a melting pot of influences from across the Mediterranean, Middle East, and Sub-Saharan Africa. Key ingredients such as olives, almonds, dates, and preserved lemons feature prominently in Moroccan cooking, adding depth and complexity to dishes. Moroccan cuisine is not just about food. It is a cultural experience that celebrates the joy of communal dining, hospitality, and shared traditions. Moroccan festivals, such as Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha, and the festival of Moulay Idris, provide occasions for Moroccans to come together in celebration, prayer, and cultural exchange. From religious observances to secular festivities, Moroccan festivals reflect the country's diverse religious, ethnic, and cultural heritage, fostering a sense of unity and solidarity among its people. As we conclude our journey through the depths of ancient Moroccan civilization, let us heed the call to continued exploration and appreciation of Morocco's rich cultural heritage. Let us delve deeper into its history, uncovering hidden treasures and untold stories that illuminate the beauty and complexity of Moroccan civilization. Let us engage with Moroccan art, music, literature, and cuisine, embracing the diversity and richness of its cultural tapestry. And let us forge connections across borders and boundaries, fostering dialogue, understanding, and mutual respect among peoples of all backgrounds. In the spirit of exploration and appreciation, let us embark on a journey of discovery, guided by curiosity, humility, and a profound appreciation for the wonders of ancient Moroccan civilization. For in the mosaic of human experience, Morocco's legacy shines brightly as a beacon of beauty, creativity, and resilience, inspiring us to embrace the richness and diversity of our shared humanity.